All right, we are moving right along, and right now it's time to add our neckband. Before you get started, you'll want to sew your neckband together into a loop, and then fold it in half, wrong sides together, so it's half as uh, short as it originally started. I do want to show you a little technique I tried the other day, and then I realized it was actually a sewing tech, like a one of these um, band techniques on how to attach it. And I cannot remember the name of it, so if someone knows the name, please let me know what it's called. You take your band and you put it wrong sides together just as if you would sew it straight across but then you fold that in half and then you sew what that does is when you turn it right side out it automatically folds it in half it anchors that back part but more importantly you only have one sewn edge here versus like if you're serging the seam and then you've got both layers of serge st stitches. So I am going to trim this just a little bit just to get as much of the bulk out of the neckline as I can. Put my threads from earlier. And I forgot the other side. So then what you do is, so you have it right side out, fold it in half. This seam will be um, at the middle of your back neckline. Then you'll want to quarter the neckband. So you mark it in four different points. So I have my two sides, my front middle, and then obviously the seam will be the back middle. And then you're going to do the same thing. Let's see if I can pull back a little bit. You're going to do the same thing on your neckline. So my shoulder seams are about an inch back from the actual quarter point because the neckline, the front neckline comes down lower than the back neckline. So your quarter point will not be at your shoulder seam. So now we're going to match up the quarter points on the neckband to the quarter points on the um, actual shirt. And then we will head to the sewing machine. Okay, so to sew it on, you turn your bodice inside out. You've got your neck band matched up at the quarter points. Okay, then we're going to head over to the sewing machine. Now, if this is your first time sewing on a neck band, I would recommend using a stitch that is easier to unpick in case you make a mistake. So I will show you a zigzag stitch and once you do that zigzag stitch and everything looks good you can show you my stitch selection. It's my width and my length. Once you sew that on, you can always go back with the lightning bolt stitch. It's just a little bit tighter, but sometimes it doesn't, if you're going to top stitch, it doesn't, it's not always as noticeable. Um, so sometimes it just depends. I'm going to set my anchor stitch in there and then I'm going to pull this out. Drop my foot back. Okay, so my first spot is right here, and I've got to stretch 
my neckband out to match the neckline and you want to make sure that this seam matches this one so it's headed to the back so I'm going to make sure I hold that down when I'm pulling on the neck uh, neck band so I'm going to hold it right at the quarter point and I'm st stretching it hold that with my right hand and I'm going to guide with my left You really shouldn't have to be pulling super hard. If you are, your neckband is probably not the correct length or you don't have the correct stretch to your material. It shouldn't be too loose and we'll talk about what will happen at the end if it is too loose because it'll be quite noticeable if it's too long of a band for your opening. When you're sewing, sorry my fingers are getting in the way, when you're sewing you want to make sure you have everything lined up. I kind of walk my fingers down. So, so far we've gone halfway through. We got half to go. what it looks like at the um, sewn part already. Let's see if I can zoom in on focus on that. So, so far it doesn't look like there's any puckering or anything. This might be a good installation. Check my shoulder seam. This one got opened up like it should have been. I forgot to check on my second sleeve that I was installing. So I'm going to make sure I open this up so it matches. Put it down. Match everything up. Sometimes when you're doing these, it feels like you could use a third hand, but of course we don't have one. All right. You can also use clips and have it pre-stretched all the way around. I personally just like to hold it and kind of... Hold my breath and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out the first time, then I grab the seam ripper and try it again. All right, back to the front. So here's the back part of it and the front portion. We'll turn it out right side out. Now you could either 
trim that seam allowance a little bit, you could serge it. I'm going to use my cover stitch and do the double needle to hold it in place. And if we zoom in on this. This is usually why I try not to do, this is why I will kind of baste it with the zigzag stitch, but then I'll probably go back in and use the um, lightning bolt stitch to clean up the seam a little bit, just so you can't see those stitches. So I will do that real quick, and then I am going to top stitch this down all the way around the neckline. If you want to use your regular sewing machine, you can. You need to increase your stitch length to probably about a four length. And you also need to, when you're top stitching it, you're going to stretch that band back out while you top stitch it. That way it'll still stretch and get over the um, the child's head or whoever's wearing it. So I will add the lightning bolt stitch and then I'm going to um, top stitch this in place and I will show you in just a second the finished result. I've got it cover stitched. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim my extra little bit. If you had a serger, you would have already trimmed this. But I just take a small scissors and trim all the way around. Just make sure you don't cut through the front. So I'll trim this and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's the neckline all trimmed up. It's laying nice and flat. If this were kind of standing out a little bit, that means the neckline is too long or your quarter points were not back far enough. Um, if this is all puckered right here, it could mean your band was too short or your quarter points were um, too far back and you had... Uh, not enough band for the neckline, so it puckered it up. So it could be um, either or. That's why I always basted it on with the zigzag stitch because I've had to pick out the lightning stitch before and it's really not fun. But you can usually tell how the neckline is going to lay with just the zigzag. And then, of course, at the end, you want to make sure you hem your bottom. I hemmed it earlier. Um, but this top is ready to go. Tomorrow I'll be covering the bottoms. And, um, of course she didn't pick the Antibes bottom. She picked the Laguna vintage, uh, ruffled bottoms. And then my older daughter picked the Monaco bottoms. But I will show you how you can anchor the lining inside the seams so um i'll sh try to show a picture of what i mean by that in the group and until <clears throat> tomorrow i can't wait to see all of your uh swim tops finish some of you have already finished them they look fantastic the rest i hope to see tonight